for tuning in today. On this episode, I'm going to take a denim shirt slash jacket that I have that I've worn a ton, but I want to change it up a little bit and give it some new life. So I'm going to turn it into a vest, distress it a little bit, fray it, and bleach it and see what we turn out with. But first, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and for tuning in. If you are a regular viewer and subscriber, I love you. Thank you. It means the world to me. If you like what you're seeing and haven't subscribed, please do. It's just the button. It's right there. It's free. It means everything to me. We are also on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at The Dress Up Mom, hashtag The Dress Up Mom. So as I said, I bought this vintage, uh, it's a kind of, it's, I guess it's a sh shirt, it's a chambray shirt, but I kind of wear it as a jacket because it's a, a weird um, sort of medium weight denim and it has these snaps along it that to me make it seem a little bit more like a jacket. And I got it, I love buying most of my denim resale. It's just great. There's some nice older pieces made in the USA that I think are, are really wonderfully done. So I've had it for a long time, but usually, again, I'm a little afraid of this because I'm not really crafty. I don't sew, unfortunately, but I want to try to have a little bit of fun with this piece again. So I think I would wear it a lot if it was more of a vest that I could pair over you know, a bunch of other different things. You can see, you know, how it looks now and how I'm wearing it. Is It is a nice piece, but I want to turn it into a vest just for fun. So I also am thinking that it would be fun to have it. It's already a pretty nice light color, but I'm thinking it might be fun to have it even lighter. I would almost like to get it to a really kind of a whitish look and have the red on it because it has this really nice red stitching everywhere. I would like this red to kind of stand out a little bit more. So that's what I think I'm going to do. Take off the collar, take off the sleeves, maybe even kind of make it shorter, fray it a little bit with those ends and then bleach it and see what we turn out with. So wish me luck. Here are the supplies we're going to be using. A good pair of scissors, a seam ripper, some gloves, and some bleach. Okay, ready to have some fun transforming this into a vest. So I would recommend getting a really good pair of sharp fabric scissors and just using them on fabric. Don't use them on paper or anything else, especially when you're cutting through denim. So first thing I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna try to go really slowly so that I get and keep everything nice and straight. So I'm going to first take off the collar, then I'm going to take off the sleeves, and then I'm gonna relook at it, maybe try it on, and see whether or not I'm going to actually take off the bottom part of it as well and make it a little bit shorter. So here I go. and looked at the sleeves, I realized that um, it's a little crooked, so I'm going to take off the entire like seamed part of it here. I don't, so, so I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna make it so it's all like this regular edge and then fray this part of it so that it doesn't look all jagged. And I did decide that I'm going to make it a little bit shorter and fray the bottom of it as well. So we'll start with the sleeves. Yeah, it's turned out a lot better cutting away the sleeves all the way to the to the end, um, and then like I said, I'll fray them in a minute. But for now, I'm going to try to figure out how to cut this and make it even. I brought out a measuring tape, and I'm actually going to cut draw a line so that it is the same amount. I'm cutting off the same amount all along, uh, and keep it nice and straight. Perfect, so I want to cut off four inches from the entire bottom. So I'm gonna get a, a pen and then 
just start marking it all around and then draw a line and cut away. I think it made it nice and even and again because we're gonna fray it doesn't have to be a hundred percent even because we're gonna fray it up and just dress it so um, let me just try this on really quick and then we'll start fraying yes it's good so now I'm just going to take where they are there here they are this is a seam ripper I take this seam ripper and I'm gonna go all around the edges of the sleeves and the bottom of the vest to give it a little bit of a distressing fraying feel to it now if and when you're first doing this you might feel like you're not doing a whole lot but as soon as you wash and dry this you'll see it frayed much more so here I go I'm just gonna start fraying away We are now properly frayed and time to go bleach this and lighten it up a little bit all right I like to bleach in the tub instead of using a bucket or something I like to sort of lay my garments flat in the tub so what I did is I filled my tub with hot water and I put pretty much half of that Clorox bleach into the tub and now I'm going to put this vest in here so I've noticed that with bleaching denim, it matters sort of the um, thickness or uh, weight of the denim. And this is fairly lightweight, so I'm guessing it's going to bleach up pretty quickly. So let's get it in there. I'm putting on my gloves, so my hands don't end up stinking here. And we're just going to put it in, and then uh, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to set my alarm for about an hour and I'm going to come back and look at it and then probably turn it around so that it gets nice and soaked in on both sides. So now we're just putting it in on the first side, laying it all nice and flat. And then I will show it to you along the way. It has been two hours and I think this has now turned out exactly like I want it to be, exactly the color. So I am now going to put it in a big plastic bag so that it doesn't leak, take it over to my washer and wash and dry it and then show it to you when it's all done. I'm going to use this denim wash from one of my favorite brands, The Laundress, to wash it. really do like how this vest turned out it wasn't really how I was picturing it for it to turn out but I do like how it happened so it could I can wear it out like this unbuttoned but then I can also for some reason it fits even better now that I took the sleeves off I can do this snap it up and make it into more of like a little sleeveless top so I like the distressed look of it like I said, I wore it a lot the other way that it was, but now it has a whole new, fun, different life, and I'm going to wear it in a bunch of different ways and like it. So I hope that this gave you some inspiration to take some of your older denim and maybe do something fun with it. Uh, like I said, I like doing it with something that's old. I would be a little bit afraid maybe to do something brand new that I paid a lot of money for, but for something that's a little bit older and you wanna give it some new life, I think it's a fun way to do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So I would love to hear in your comments below if you've tried this kind of thing, if you're going to try it, let me know how you do. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have fun and dress it up a little. <laughs> <laughs>